Hey friends, on today's video, I'm gonna show you how to properly load one of these testing strips in this Kroger Health Pro glucose monitor. It's actually pretty simple, let's do it. Now, again, friends, this is not an official tutorial. This is simply showing you again how I'm doing this for entertainment uh, purposes. So consult your health provider really to do this especially if you do have concerns with uh, diabetes and dangerous blood sugar levels because you do not want to mess this up. This is something that's very important for people that struggle with high blood sugar. So again, I'm using these Kroger Health Pro glucose test strips. You can see they do need to be stored in a cool and dry place between 36 and 86 degrees Fahrenheit. It's important to keep these things within their expiration date. Don't use things that are expired because you won't get good healthy readings. And again, for this tutorial, I'm just gonna show you how to insert it the proper way that uh, again, Kroger shows you how to insert these things. So we've got our glucose uh, health monitor. You don't need to turn it on, which is really nice. We've got our uh, tip over here where we insert the uh, plastic strip. And then this is gonna automatically turn on once we do that. So let me pull out a single strip from my pack here. Okay, here's a strip removed. And this has a couple of different sides. It has a side on the back here with a couple of colors. You can disregard this side. And it has a side over here that both has a bar reader as well as a little uh, blood indicator where the blood is going to go. So we need to insert this strip just like this with this side up straight into the monitor. And once you push it in, you can see that it automatically will come on. You should have your correct date and time down here. That's important again for tracking the specific uh, time that you've taken this test to uh, again, to research, to look back on. So again, once you have the little strip that's sticking out like this, you can see where the blood is now gonna be inserted. You're gonna use your lancer, you're gonna prick that, you're gonna put it up against that and it'll take about five seconds to read. I'll make a few more video tutorials showing exactly how I do that. But again, this is what it should look like with that little uh, marking up and then out so you can put that little sample of blood on the end. Friends, I hope this helps. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. Again, we're making a bunch of tutorials on this Health Pro uh, glucose reader. So if you want to see a few more on how this thing works, go ahead and subscribe because those videos are coming out soon. Friends, thanks for watching and we'll see you again on the next one.